Well, you hear the foreign storm team use Doppler radar when storms are in the area. You use that term a whole lot. It's a very important tool, but even it has limitations. Meteorologist Kristen Cornett shows us what Doppler radar can and can't do. Doppler radar is a fantastic tool to help detect the possibility of a tornado, but it's not perfect. Take this uh, case, for example, with uh, April, 11, or April 22nd, 2011, with the Good Friday, Friday tornado. And we issued tornado warnings all the way across the state, basically, for it. But it really didn't produce its first tornado until it hit New Melly. Radar will indicate strong winds blowing toward and away from it. And forecasters can detect a signature where a circulation exists. Most of the time, we're not seeing the tornado itself. We're just seeing the rotation aloft inside the thunderstorm. In other words, radar cannot see a tornado on the ground. Tornado warnings will be issued for rotating thunderstorms, but not all will produce a tornado. We simply do not know which ones will and which ones will not. We really rely on spotters and then other parts of the radar to tell us if there's a tornado happening. Fortunately, there is some newer technology that assists the meteorologists in charge of issuing those warnings. Up until about six, seven years ago, we couldn't tell you if there was really debris in the, in the tor you know, and a tornado was formed, uh, but now we can. Um, we can see the debris actually in the radar. There are different levels of tornado warnings now. There's a base tornado warning, and that could be, again, the radar is just seeing it, or we're actually getting a report of the, of the tornado on the ground. In recent years, a new type of warning has been added. It's called a tornado emergency. If we think it's a violent tornado moving into a populated area, then we can pull the tornado emergency. But that's a very rare event. We've only issued one tornado emergency, and that was Jefferson City in May of last year. Kristen Cornett, News 4. All right, so big takeaway out of that, radar, not always perfect, not everything mm -hmm. in life is perfect, but always err on the side of caution. Yes, yeah, and you need to know radar is not perfect. You may go to the basement, come up, there's no tornado, and that's okay. I like to make the analogy, you get in your car and you buckle up. Not because you know you're going to be in an accident, it's the right thing to do. The reason that's so important, if you run to the basement four times and there's no tornado, on that fifth time, I don't want you thinking, oh, Templeton's always on TV, yeah. always talking about a tornado. I'm not going to do it this time. And yeah. then that's the big one. So it's not perfect, but it's a tool. It does help save lives.